Hey everybody, this is Chris, and this is part two of the index page. And I split up in two parts because there's a lot that we're going to have to get into here in this last part. So let's go get started. I'm just going to tidy this up a little bit. It's my OCD kicking in. So, all right, this next uh, data field is going to be another. Uh, it's going to be another time. It's actually going to be a carbon timestamp for uh, the created at. So it's going to be another span with a label and it's going to be label and it's going to be label info uh, label uh, info and inside here we're going to have the carbon crate from stamps it's going to be pretty much the same thing as what we did before but instead of the updated at it's going to be created at so carbon create from timestamp and string to time and that's going to be instead of created at man update that's going to be created at and then we're also going to return diff for humans so diff for humans okay that's that one. The next one is going to be the link to edit. If you look up here, we're going to edit it. So this is going to be a link, and this is where we're going to pass in some data into our as our third parameter of the link to route. So we'll go ahead and do that. So link to route, and the route we're going to link it. The name of the route that we're going to link it to is tasks dot edit. And the value of that link is going to be, of course, edit. Our third parameter is going to be the data that we're going to pass through with it, along with the link. So it's going to be, if you looked in the task controller, you'll see where it says edit down here. It's requiring the ID. So task find by ID, the parameter ID we're passing through, we're going to pass through. So Let's go back into the index, and to do that, we are going to have an array, and inside the array, we're just going to say T ID. So we're passing through this specific task ID, and then we're going to go ahead and give it a class. So another array class. And I'm going to say button and button warning. Okay, that should be enough for that. And the last one is the delete. And for this, we're going to have a form because it requires a form to actually run the delete function. And you'll see how we do this in a second. So I'm just going to say form open. And here's where everything will go mostly. So we're going to say array. And the first one is going to be the method. And the method is going to be delete. So let's go ahead and encapsulate this in quote quotes. Say, and then this is going to be delete. So that'll be our method, our route. Again, this has to be in parentheses. It's going to be array and it's going to be passing the name of the route and the ID of the task we're going to destroy because it also requires, if you look back into the task controller, it also requires the ID to be passed through. So we're going to do that. So the route is going to be an array and the name of the route is going to be tasks.destroy. And the data we're passing through with it is the ID of the task that we want to destroy. <clears throat> and that's task T destroy. And that's that. Next we need to go ahead and have a submit uh, button. So to do that we're just going to say form submit. 
it's going to be the delete is going to be the value and we're just going to give it a class an array and the class is going to be button and button danger button button danger and then we're going to close our form and after this row right here we're going to end our for each so end for each we have it at in front of that though at end for each and below this div here we have an else so at else we're just going to throw in a div and this div is going to be a div with a class of alert not alert and alert info and we're going to make it a column uh, medium tw 2 so medium 2 and in here we're just going to say strong and hey there you have no tasks and then in diff now in order to get this to actually display anything we're going to have to do two things for the control shift P we're going to have to hit install because we didn't install our migration so click that and let's see if it installs it and it just did so hit control shift P again and hit migrate so it migrates our database and we just got an error back with it so called undefined and it's saying something about the migration which is if we go up here to says something about the boolean so let's where's this at database migrations this needs to be boolean I don't know why it did evidently we can't do bool we have to do boolean so save that control shift p again we'll hit migrate one more time hit enter and it should go through and it did so now let's go out here and see how many errors we got so if I go out to tasks enter and we got no task but it's got some CSS stuff that's messed up so Anyways, we'll fix that in the next tutorial and I'll see you there